fuck out of here, man. That nigga's a fucking joke. He's a fucking clown. I'm the fuck about money, this nigga. In a couple more years, you're not even gonna we're not even gonna need money no more. Money ain't even gonna be needed no more, motherfucker. You gonna have to use some shit to get on the heat, nigga. You don't need no money. Listen to this crisis right now. What the what can your money do with with niggas in the seats right now? When you have to stay in the house, what can your money do? What can your money do after you stay in the house? Hey, what can your money do when a crisis breaks out? Then you really gotta show how real you are. Like a crisis break out, your money don't mean shit. Your money don't mean nothing. Fuck out of here. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, this is the brother Maya Kadar from the Great Millstone Camp here in Cleveland, uh, back with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. First and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Holy Father and His Son, who majority of the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. All right. And, uh, you know, blessings and respect, man, to all you Akim out there that's standing up in great boldness, man. You know, pushing this word into the sincerity, putting your freedom and lives at risk, man. And I'm going to say this, standing up in great boldness to this devil, man. Esau, man. All right. To you, I say Shalom, man. All right. And that's a, a Atlanta rapper. And I know a lot of brothers is familiar with the Brick Squad, you know, 1017 era, you know, with um, Waka Flocka, you know, Who the Kid. That's a rapper. He goes by the name of Frenchie, man. And, uh, you know, him and Gucci, man, are, you know, they bumping heads, man. And uh, you heard him out of his mouth, man. You know, first of all, mention the microchip. All right. Whether he knows the mark of the beast or not. All right. But he mentioned the chip, man, which, hey, I'm going to say this, man. Uh, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, man, has been pushing that, man, for years, man. Whether, you know, individuals who, you know, you know, watch, watch his great millstone, watches our apostles and elders. They don't want, they don't got to, you know, they don't got to shine a light, you know, on the apostles and elders. They, they don't want, they don't want to do it. Hey, we, they, hey, that's not our time to be gloried in, glorified anyway, man. We, we going to be glorified, you know, when Yahweh Shah comes back, man, when he receive his glory, man, you know, but hey, man, you know, cause you got a lot of people who watch our apostles and elders and then they go, you know, repeat the same thing which which was said out of their mouth and, you know, act like as if, you know, they came up with it, man. But, hey, our apostles and elders, hey, everyone knows who been pushing the mark of the beast, man, the RFID microchip, great millstone, man. Once again, starting with our apostles and elders on down, man, all right? But not trying to digress, all right? So, you know, he mentioned to Gucci, man, hey, man, because, you know, he said, hey, man, you know this nigga, he likes to boast and brag about his money. Uh, what is your money going to do, you know, in a, in a crisis, man? What is is your money going to do in this pandemic, man? All right. We're not even going to need any money. All right. Because we a soon, which he said a couple years, which I believe through the spirit, man, it could be this year, man. And it's just me speaking as a man. All right. But you know, Hey, we're going to need a chip to go get something to eat, man, which he's correct, man. He's correct. He's absolutely correct, man. All right. And, um, Hey man, I, and I let you know that, uh, you know, Jake, certain Jake's is, you know, waking up to the fact, man. All right. Or what's going on, man? Esau's not, you know, pulling the cover over their eyes anymore, man. All right? And uh, <clears throat> I got a quick precept. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. <clears throat> it says, riches profit not in a day of wrath, man. And that's what's coming. All right? These different, you know, uh, plagues and diseases, man, is the wrath of Yahabai Shemiah Washah, who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, man. This is the wrath of him, man. This is his wrath, man. This is his uh, extreme uh, righteous anger, man. All right? It says, riches profit not in a day of wrath, man. All right, so your riches, man. Uh, your your uh, cardinal money. All right, because, hey, man, Jake love money, man. All right, and the scriptures say, uh, first six, uh, Timothy 6 and 10, for the love of money is the root to all evil, man, because those different celebrities uh, or artists that's in the music industry, man, uh, it says for the love of money is the root to all evil, man. They didn't did a lot of evil, man, to get their wealth, man. You know, they didn't did sacrifices. You know, they didn't, you know, you know, uh, downgraded themselves, man. They didn't, you know, committed homosexuality acts, man. They didn't did all type of, uh, you know, stuff for Esau, man, that was wicked just to receive that money, man. All right. But it says, uh, for riches profit not in a day of wrath, but righteousness deliver it from death, man. All right. Righteousness, man. Following the law, man. 
following the law, man, rehearsing these righteous acts, man. Seeking your haba shimmy was shot, man, is what delivers deliver it from death, man. And ultimately, learning the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. All right? Because the scriptures say, man, that the name of the Lord is a strong tire, tower, man. And the righteous runneth into it. See, that's the key point. Righteous. All right? Just because you know the name of the Lord, hey, the scriptures tell you about that, man. The scriptures say the righteous runneth into it and are safe. All right? The righteous, man. So you have to rehearse these righteous acts is what's going to deliver you from death, man. And what is going to deliver you from these different pestilences, man. These different diseases, man. From the famine, man. That, that is what's going to deliver you, man. Being righteous, man. Not your money, man. No one's going to care about money anymore. Like 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 he, like Frenchy said, man. Uh, 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 you're going to need a chip to do anything, man. And the scriptures tell you that. And I'm going to grab that, man. All right. This is... Uh, this is Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to start at 15. All right. It says, and he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not to worship the image of the beast should be killed, man. All right. So, hey, man, when it's time for Esau to enforce uh, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip on you people, and you people refuse it, man. Or right, Esau is going to kill you, man. He's going to uh, put your hand under the guillotine. He's going to chop it right off, man. All right? And the majority of uh, of our people, uh, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, they, they're going to get the chip, man, because they trust in this, uh, uh, they trust in this system, man. All right? But it's the point, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small, great, rich, and poor, free and bond, man. All, man. He's going to cause all to, you know, get this RFID microchip, man, which is the mark of the beast once again. All right, he's going to cause all, man. You know, small, great. No matter if you're on, on a low level on a, on a, or on a high level, you know, rich or poor, you know, he's going to bribe you if you're poor, you know. Hey, man, you know, get this RFID chip. And uh, to eat and, you know, to receive benefits from us. You rich, you don't want to lose all that money. You got 10 million in the bank, 5 million in the bank, man. He's all talking about taking it all. You don't want to lose it, so you're going to get that chip. You know, you got Jake working with these uh, uh, 40. Hey, Jake got hella money in a 401k. You know, Jake, uh, a bank account might be empty, but that 401k loaded and Jake don't want to lose it. So, hey, you don't want to lose it, get this chip. They trust in the system, man. All right? But it says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell or save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, hey, like he said, man, hey, sooner or later. You know, hey, you're going to need a chip to go get a sandwich, man. Go get a bite to eat, man. This is what the scripture just said, and that no man might buy or sell, man. You're not going to be, hey, all you people with these offer-up accounts, man, Poshmark, you ain't going to buy or sell without the RFID microchip, man. All right? And, you know, like I said, hey, hey, how about Shimmy I was shy, man? He, and, hey, he, hey, he gave out a commandment not to take this chip, and he also, you know, you know, uh, uh, gave uh, out, you know, uh, uh, he told you the punishment that, that you're going to receive if you get that chip, man. And I'm just going to uh, just grab it, you know. It's like you can't grab, you know, Revelations 13 and 16, 15 without grabbing uh, Revelations 14 and 9 because, hey, that's the, this is what the Lord said is going to happen if you take it, man. And um, it says... Uh, Revelation 14 and 9, the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, all right, in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the lamb of the shalakia in the presence of the holy angels and the lamb presence of the lamb man so that's what's going to happen man all right and you're going to be you're, you're going to be broke you're going to be you know burnt by those missiles man all right you're going to um be devoured man in the lake of fire man all right hey man the missiles and uh fire from the uh, chariots man 
All right. So, hey, man, you know, I hope this was edifying. And uh, with that, I want to say a hey, shalom.